Hi, dear audience. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I hope all of you will be doing great. So, uh, I'm Ning Bukhari, uh, lecturer at Department of Medical Lab Technology, University of Paris. I have participated in an exchange program like Study of United States uh, Institute, SUSI 2016. So, uh, here I will be discussing with you people regarding the application procedure of SUSI exchange programs, means how application procedure works how you should uh, complete your application or fill your application and then you can make it successful so uh, I will discuss uh, step by step but before going for uh, talking specifically for the SUSI exchange program I will uh, just uh, tell you people that if you are going uh, to apply somewhere for an exchange program or for any uh, opportunity abroad first thing uh, keep in your mind that you have previous um, unique kind of work experience or you have skills if you have no experience then it means you have skills to do something or you are passionate you are interested uh, to pursue something and uh, you want to be work hard for that so uh, in this regard I will tell you people I was uh, selected for first time I was selected for SUSI exchange program and after that I have gotten a lot of opportunities like I was selected for an exchange program for Australia as well but I did not uh, uh, avail that opportunity similarly uh, recently I have applied for an exchange program for world festival of youth and students in Russia so I was selected by the Prime Minister office Islamabad for that program as well but I cannot participate uh, I will tell you people the skills uh, regarding how you should go for the interviews interview skills and how you should put your application as much uh, effective uh, means how your application should be effective if reader uh, can understand your application so easily so uh, regarding uh, talking about SUSI exchange program uh, application contains I think more than seven to eight parts the first part of application includes uh, your personal information like your name your institute name and your family details like this But in second part, uh, part of your SUSI app, application, there is an option like uh, personal consideration, dietary considerations, or uh, your interest. So uh, this is a small icon uh, which I will uh, show you people in this image as well. So in this section, what you should write, how it, it works. So you look, you should uh, write those things. Suppose if you are interested uh, as uh, in meat or in we can say in other foods so you should generally write things like that I like all sort of things like I like halal foods I all sorts of halal food or something which uh, is your best food you can write that uh, so another thing uh, the regarding the SUSI application is most important that in most of uh, icons you have no information uh, to write for example if previous uh, travel history or something but you should never put the empty boxes you should uh, either put something like none or no means you should write none uh, that's the suitable word for that for other things uh, regarding to see the major part of your application which puts up great weightage uh, upon your application regarding selection process is your personal statement and personal statement contains uh, more than three parts The first thing in your personal statement which should be most of the time uh, is considered the linkage of uh, your previous work and what you are doing right now. Suppose uh, previously what kind of achievements you have means uh, we can say previously how much you have did your work and how you got it the education it was uh, difficult for you or it was easy for you to get the access for higher education means you should write uh, the whole thing in the story form and secondly um, important thing regarding personal statement your interest your motivation means how much you were motivated um, to pursue which you are uh, how you are pursuing for example uh, 
we can say uh, if you are doing electrical engineering or mechanical engineering why you are pursuing this field means what kind of interest you are research work or you were inspired or you are uh, trying to do you should just write mention that one and other thing uh, regarding your in personal statement regarding your future plans means for example if uh, you will be selected for this and wonderful opportunity wonderful exchange program like susi what kind of uh, important uh, roles you can play in your society after get, uh, coming back from this exchange program what kind of uh, advantages you expect from this program but uh, i think it's a program like public policy making at local and federal level the major topic you will be studying over there means i think if you have interest and in, you can put these words like this means uh, i'm interested or i'm passionate to uh, explore my skills and what will be the advantage of my in this program it's mean i will visit different institute at usa and it will be beneficial for me to observe the uh, world top ranking institutes uh, which help which will help me a lot to understand the diverse culture and it will i will got an eye to observe the uh, observe the things and uh, in a very well way we can say so uh, another uh, important part of suci exchange program is uh, like you are uh, ask short answers there will be i think two questions uh, one regarding uh, what kind of challenge pakistan is facing nowadays and how you can make solution for uh, these challenges how we can overcome these challenges i think uh, answering this kind of questions are little bit tricky means it's important to ask uh, to answer these question very uh, precisely or you should uh, choose the, for example what is the biggest challenge facing pakistan nowadays the uh, first thing you should choose in a positive sense means uh, for example there are a lot of challenges facing pakistan nowadays means we can say from illiteracy uh, poverty and uh, other challenges include like corruption we can say a bundle of challenges are pakistan is facing nowadays but uh, the question tells you should select at least one challenge so which is the most important which you think which is the most important to be solved or uh, pakistan its biggest challenge for pakistan so uh, another thing after selecting this one you should also provide the solutions means how we can overcome uh, this challenge so you should uh, discuss step wise means how we can overcome this challenge at local level and then how we can overcome this challenge at provisional level or city level or then for the whole country means how we can over this challenge by making certain po- but you should be precise mean right to the point exact statements don't uh, provide a lot bundle of examples like blah 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 you should just write the exact statements means what kind of solutions you are for means you are for example you are uh, removing poverty from local level or from one city first and then you can go for the another city and after that you, uh, step wise you can overcome these challenges it means it's and there is no um, magic or such a kind of solution which can uh, eliminate all sort of challenges within a day or something but you should provide a reasonable challenges uh, sorry uh, solutions which are acceptable or which can be implemented as well so uh, this was the second mm, major part of uh, questions as first and the second one is the most important like what kind of personal challenge you have faced and how you can overcome Uh, that challenge so it's also important means uh, talking regarding your personal challenge uh, personal challenge means uh, the challenge which you faced during your educational career or when you were born it was difficult for you people to get an access to education and how you faced the one thing keep in mind most of the time people uh, write the statement like we are very poor and we are unable to afford education expenses and like these things but uh, the us embassy or selection committee mostly focuses upon how much you uh, did hard work means these are these this was the challenge for you people to get the education if 
within the limited resources or underdeveloped infrastructure but you should provide the uh, reasons in how you uh, overcome these challenges to get uh, the access for education purposes so you should provide the solutions means i have did this work this work and this work and uh, i have continued my this year educational journey or another means uh, personal challenges you faced it may be there will be number of challenges i think you uh, know very well regarding uh, the challenges which you have faced you are ed- during your educational career or your job career or if you are policy makers or you want to become what kind of challenges or you are we can say uh, taking uh, some sort of initiatives in your community and what kind of challenges you faced uh, during implementing an idea or uh, working voluntarily or for some purposes in a community for the welfare of other people so it's mean you should provide the solutions mean what kind of ch- personal challenge you have faced during implementing a project or something and how you overcome that challenge means how uh, you solve these uh, challenges uh, and completed your project or completed your educational career as well so uh, these are the important parts uh, regarding suci application